Welcome to episode six of Tools in the Hall. This is the biggest one we've had so far. I hope this video isn't too long. Stick with it if you dare. Here we go. The reason we have so much stuff is because we've been so busy. Orders have been coming in like crazy. We're also restocking the truck for the stuff that does sell. So between those two things and getting Tim up and running to his full capacity, we're really busy and we have larger orders now than we've ever had. So let's start out with maybe the most important aspect of any tool truck are the snacks. And we've had some problems before with, um, getting beef jerky, which is incredibly popular. We buy directly from a company called Medina Foods out of Ohio, and they are their own completely self-contained manufacturer of all kinds of jerky and, and beef goods. And we really liked what we were getting from them. Their pricing was very good. We had a very good direct buy relationship with them for years, and then all of a sudden they just kind of evaporated. I think our last order with them was in July. They never fulfilled it. They wouldn't return our calls, didn't return our emails. We put multiple orders in and they didn't fulfill any of them. So we finally said, well, we need another, we need another jerky supplier. So we found that we can get uh, a line on Jack Links. So we're going with those guys. And come to find, it's actually been a really good move because the bags are larger than the ones we're getting from Medina and we can keep the costs the same because our, 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 or rather our prices are the same because our costs are a little bit lower. So we can buy more and offer it uh, offer for the same price. Love the quality, um, so we're gonna go with it. And if something happens with Medina, uh, something happens with Medina and maybe we can get back on track with them. But unless we have a problem with the Jack Links line or unless people don't like it, that's the one we're gonna go with. So we are uh, got two trucks worth of beef jerky here um, in this whole case. So we'll be loading that up and finally have our snacks where they need to be again to make people happy. We also have a nine way slide hammer puller set from OTC. This is the cool kind with the vice grip style um, gripper wrench and it has all the jaw and, and, and yoke assortments as well as the slide hammer assembly itself. It's one of the nicer kits on the market and the pricing on these is really very good. I think this one is going for $158.99. And by the way, if I mention any sale pricing in this video, it's relevant to our current flyer, which was good for Q4 of 2020. So October, November, and December. And I think this video is gonna be going up on YouTube in December. So just know that if you see the video outside of that, then the prices probably have changed. Next we have what I really do think is the nicest underhood light on the market. Milwaukee makes this great light. I love it for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's solid and it lasts a long time. We've never had quality issues with their hood lights at all. The thing I don't like about them is their pricing and they tend to be a little expensive. So when they're on sale, we get them. And right now this one is. So if they could change one thing about their hood light, I really wish that they would give us, give us a corded option. As it is, it's cordless only, so you have to have the batteries, you have to have the chargers if you're going to use the light. I think that, uh, that when you look at how long you tend to use a hood light for, it would really be nice to be able to plug it in so that you're not constantly swapping out batteries because let's face it, a lot of times you're putting the hood light under there and it's under there for hours at a time. So it would be nice to 
to give a corded option, but they don't. But I'll take it as it is because it is the best quality hood light that I've found on the market. Behind this guy is a tried and true product for us. These monster mobile adjustable work tables, you really can't see it too good, it's all covered up. But I did do a video and review on these. You can click the link up here to look at that. These have been huge sellers for us. And right now, the K-Tool brand of these work tables is on sale for uh, I think like $70 less than the regular price. Normally the 200 bucks, I've seen them on sale before for 185, but now they're 130, 75. And Sunex manufactures this table for K Tool and Monster, and I think ATD and some other brands too. So it's all the same table. We just go with which whatever's cheapest at the time, just to keep the pricing down. And uh, the prices are good on these. So um, we'll have them at that price, at least through the end of the year. When the um, when the flyer expires, back here we have a 200 amp battery charger from Associated. I can hear you saying, "Well, gee, Lindsay, why don't you carry the Schumacher ones?" We do, but I'm not a fan. Any of the Schumacher battery chargers that I sold, I've had to take back because they failed within the warranty period, but. Um, it's kind of pricey to get those things handled under warranty because there's shipping involved. There's no local service centers that we found. And I don't think that they should be failing within a few months. So uh, we want the associated ones um, because, I, A, they're made in the U.S., which is really cool. B, they have service centers all over the place. And C, these things are built to a standard uh, that no other brand can touch. You can literally run these things outside in the weather, and they have demonstrations of these in a in an enclosed booth with a water hose pouring water down onto the unit and it's working just fine so they're weatherproof and they're they're they have much better longevity than the schumacher ones that i found yes they're expensive but you do get what you pay for in these and that's why when it comes to me recommending a charger to anybody i tell them why i don't like the associated ones and why it's worth spending the extra money rather why I don't like the, uh, oh, edit that, edit that. Let's go back. I tell them why I don't like the Schumacher ones and why it's worth spending the extra money on the associated ones because they're just a far superior product. Unless Schumacher's made some changes I, that I'm not aware of, I don't know. But, uh, you know, once bitten, twice shy, and I was bitten twice, so twice bitten, I don't know, four times shy? Anyway, I'm done with Schumacher unless it can be proven to me that they can withstand the same rigors as the associated ones do in the same environments. All right, let's go into the boxes here. We've got these non-aerosol sprayer cans. Sure Shot makes it a de facto standard in the industry, but we can get these vapor branded ones from Titan at about 20 bucks less. So these are the new ones that's on the that are on the trucks. Um, and, and they're on sale right now too. So we took a bunch of orders for these. I already delivered a few of them. These are more special orders for people. So we have um, um, a newfound popularity in these now that there's some new pricing available. This is, looks like a warranty Torx bit. Looks like this is a box full of warranties that came back from uh, Platinum Wrenches. The Platinum brand is a brand that is owned by a tool distributor called Medco, and that is one of their private label brands. And, and we deal with those folks as well as uh, their, their competitors, a company called ISN, which has their own brands like Monster, for example. And uh, we deal with you know whoever we're gonna get us the best deals and for the warranty stuff particularly. Um, they're easy to deal with by sending the platinum stuff back into them. We also have some warranty uh, swivels and, and some other and some other things that came back. Gear wrench has one of the nicer click type torque wrenches on the market, and I also think they have the nicest digital torque wrench on the market. I don't think you beat the money that you spend uh, with the gear wrench brand on anyone. So their their pricing is really good, particularly 
in this flyer cycle where their digital torque wrenches are like 218 bucks and they have angle flex head and their 120 xp ratchet mechanism so very tough to beat that deal and these click type torque wrenches are also on sale i forget the pricing offhand but if you need just a good click torque wrench go with the gear wrench we also sell precision instruments and they manufacture for other companies too for a while they were the manufacturer for snap-ons torque wrenches i don't know what other brands they manufacture for but their stuff is outstanding and their pricing is not bad either but if you had a brand preference uh, we can accommodate that but if you want to go on price go with the gear wrench ones they're a little bit less money and uh and they have um no quality issues at all everyone we sold people have been very happy with I've never had any uh any warranty claims or comebacks on them this is the lyle digital circuit tester it tests between 3 and 49 volts lights up green and red for positive polarity on the green and negative polarity uh, rather positive polarity in the red and negative polarity on the green and it has a nice lcd display and they put a lifetime warranty on them too the mayhew cat's paw o-ring removal tools these are those picks with the spoon ends on them i love mayhew for a lot of things uh particularly the picks their uh their quality is second to none and uh, very easy to deal with uh, any warranty issues if we ever have any astro has the stepped titanium drill bit set the reason we carry these on the truck is because they're so darn inexpensive 30 bucks for the set and uh they have a one-year warranty on them the uh although i've never ever had an issue with these and we sell a lot of them you can spend 150 dollars plus on the mac tools truck or some other trucks and they'll give you a lifetime warranty but you got to buy a lot of these 30 dollar bits before you hit you know the same cost of buying one set on those guys trucks um you know be between between the time it would take you to buy $150 of bits, you know, you could, I don't know. I mean, I never had a warranty issue with these either, so I don't know. They, they seem to last just as long. They seem to do a very good job. I sold a bunch of these to guys who are kind of hard on their tools, never an issue with them. So we keep, uh, we keep those as our go-tos. Looks like we got some more warranty stuff coming back, a tap and some swivel sockets. These are the inductive coil testers that have a pistol grip and the uh, and the tester itself is screw that into the screw the probe into the end put the put the uh, the tester on it and drop it on the coil and it has a it, it'll show you a waveform sorry I don't want to screw this all up. Okay, there we go. I, I don't sell a lot of these. This was, I think, the second one ever. But a customer who works on some pretty swanky cars specifically requested it. So I can't speak a whole lot about it um, just because I'm really not familiar with them. And this is one of those cases where the customer is going to lead the way and he says that he wants something specific. I will get that for him. Um, and uh he works on uh, he works on exotics so i don't know what his specific application is for this uh this is just a riveter from marson i love the quality of their products don't sell a lot of their stuff but they have these and those long handled rivet guns which are really cool and that's a special order for somebody gray pneumatic swivel adapter that looks like it's a warranty yeah it's a warranty for someone the lyle automatic center punch there's a bunch of choices we have an automatic center punches we like the lyle ones because they're small light they don't break like some of the cheaper ones do and if they did they cover them with a lifetime warranty oh. We sell a lot of Milwaukee. They are our preferred cordless power tool line. And this quarter inch hex impact driver is their 18 volt version. 
most guys are fine with the 12 volt version but uh the customer who who wanted this specifically wanted the 18 be, because he bought a couple of bare 18 volt tools i think he bought a grinder and some other things and he wanted some batteries to go along with them so he asked me to get him this 18 volt version of the driver even though he doesn't necessarily need it for the driver he wants the batteries for the other tools so it's nice that milwaukee allows you to interchange the batteries within the m18 family and their m12 family is the same thing you can take any m12 battery and use it on any 12 volt tool just like you can use any m18 battery on any 18 volt tool so now with this kit he will have a full selection of tools and batteries these are perhaps the handiest tools of their kind these are the forma funnels they're just a flexible vinyl coated um, sheet that you use to conform to um, getting around different obstacles when you're draining oil or any fluid and they save a ton of time in cleanup and mess so if you're looking at the price of the tool and you think well gee you know I don't know if I want to spend the, you know, 50 bucks in that really big truck and tractor form of funnel. Okay, how much time will you spend cleaning up a mess that's made when you're trying to take off a filter or, and, and, and you're spilling stuff all over the place and you're using now uh, brake clean and other solvents to clean that up and now you mopping the floors and now you have to dispose of your wastewater and now you have a bunch of other issues that compound that for the money of the form of funnel. You can save yourself a lot of headache time and money in cleanup so maybe a couple of extra bucks spent up front on getting a, a neater environment to work in will pay dividends as you look at the uh look at the time savings and the cost savings in in cleanup All right, next box. These are not tools we're reselling. These are just for the trucks. We bought some rings to clip into our E-Track so we can use bungee cords and some um, smaller ratcheting tie downs for, for uh, keeping equipment tied down in the truck. All right, let's look at the Astro quick release or rather quick lock die grinders. We've got a lot of options for die grinders. We got Ingersoll and Sunex and Dynabraid and tons of different brands, but the Onyx line from Astro is the one we go to first. They have a quick lock here for the spindle so that you only need one wrench to open the collet and insert your mandrel. But the nicest thing at all about these is they're fairly low vibration. So if you're using a grinder all day, this is very comfortable to use. The body does not get cold because it's got the nice plastic covering on the housing. And of all the ones we sold, I think I've had one warranty claim on these when the, when the lock didn't work right or something like that. But other than that, these things have been very good performers very popular and uh they're they're way less money than than some of the other brands so these are the ones that we keep on the truck all the time well, we got a couple of these um one customer wanted to buy two of them these are the milton swivel connected to your air tools it's a regular inventory item for us looks like we got a couple of warranties for some gear wrench wrenches and one of their torque sockets this is just their regular reversible combination wrench. But they also have these Gearbox branded wrenches, which are very popular, particular, particularly with guys in the diesel field. The long handles on these give you a lot of leverage. And each end is the same size. And they're spline drive. One end has a flexible ratcheting head. 
The other is just a regular fixed box head. And there is a version of these which don't have the flex head, just a rationing end and a fixed end. And right now, their sets of these are on sale for some ridiculously low price. I think normally these are like 360 bucks for the metric set that runs 8 to 19 mil. And the ones that are on sale right now are like 200 and I forget what it is. I have to look it up, but they're like 240 bucks, 260 bucks or something. That's a really good price that we don't normally see on these. So I think that GearWrench is doing some very nice things with their pricing. I'm glad to see it because they uh, help keep costs down and help make us more competitive. Me, who has a bundle of the punches and chisels, which this is their 19-piece their set, and now you can get for free four bearing race punches. And these are long punches that are tapered. And uh, they, one of the guys who ordered these was struggling, not, not knowing that they even made really long ones. So he came to me and he asked uh, what I recommended for... Well, actually, what he asked for were chisels. And, um, well, I saw a potential upsell opportunity. So I said, hey, you know, if you get this one, you get these four free bearing race um, punches. And he said, oh, he said, that's actually what I wanted. He says, but I didn't think they made them that long. I said, no, they do. And he was given some bad information by somebody else. So he came asking. And I felt good because that's what I like to do as a tool guy. I like to provide some value and give you some information that maybe you didn't have before. So... I guess it wasn't a true upsell because it's not like he's paying more for it. He's just getting some stuff for free. But it was nice to be able to give him some information that he didn't have. Helps him make a better buying decision. You know, hopefully he feels better about, you know, doing business with me. And, and we already had a good relationship anyway. I've known him for quite a while. He's been a very good customer. But it's just one of those things that further cements the quality of your relationship in this business. And I love being able to do that. And having access to some of Mayhew's stuff like we do gives me that opportunity. That's why I'm, I'm happy GearWrench is changing their pricing. I really like Mayhew's product selection because it just helps bolster these, these relationships and helps us grow the business. Now these master hex and Torx bit sets from GearWrench are on sale right now through the end of the year. And this is the 84 piece set that's got all the hex torques, tamper-proof torques, external torques, long torque sockets, and long hex sockets. Comes in a blow-molded case. Every one of those pieces in there is covered under a lifetime warranty. When you compare this to the only other one that's like it on the market is the Blue Point one from Snap-on. And you can see in a, in, the, in a video I did before, you can click up here to see it when I, go, when I went through the flyer. Um, I wanted to compare things like this to our competition so you can see the value that we can offer. And on this particular set, when we compare it to the Blue Point one from Snap-on, Snap-on's price on that on their website is $387. Normally, this gear wrench set we sell for $260, which is kind of cool, gives someone almost $130 price advantage over that. But now they're on sale for $180. So... It's not Amazon level pricing, but it's way better than it's been. And I really like the fact that GearWrench is, I think, taking to heart some of the feedback that they got and realizing that they have to do better on their pricing and their availability to their dealers so that we can be more, more competitive with our, our, our tool truck competition, but also our online competition as well. So we've got a bunch of these in, I think at least three of them in this order alone, because yeah, we got two, one here, this one, and then we have another one over there. So they are understandably more popular now because our pricing is so good. Uh, we got a Lyle brake caliper tool warranty that came in. Uh, leak, um, leak detection kit, a UV light. The nice thing about this is it's rechargeable and has an adjustable beam. So you can look at a wider area or focus in on a, on a smaller area as you're looking for leaks. Easy Red has this extendable handled ratchet. It's got that collar there that you pull down and you can extend the neck of the ratchet. 
It extends from a short length of 9.84 inches to a total length of 13.78. And although I've not seen too many people who own this, I've never sold one. Some guys do have them. I don't know where or when they bought them, but um, one guy had a, uh, had, a, had a, his broke, so I'm doing this under warranty for him. And Astro is our, our go-to for the, for any of the blowguns really except for the blowgun kit that's got three rubber tips that one we go to titan for their vapor brand has the only kit like it that i've seen where you get the four inch blowgun and then you get the three rubber tips the tips by themselves though if you buy them of some different brand or or, or without the tool they cost like 50 bucks or ridiculously pricey but Titan has the whole kit with the blowgun and the three tips for like $30. So that's the one we normally carry um, when we go with the, the when we need the, the tip selection on the guns. For the regular ones, it's Astro because the pricing is so good. Oh, look what I... <laughs> Speaking of, this is that kit. See, if I, was, if I was halfway organized, I would have known that I had this and talked about it first. So this is that vapor brand kit from titan those three tips if you buy them by themselves and i can't even find them from titan i don't know which brand has them fifty dollars and then the blow guns like 20 bucks or something but you get the whole kit for thirty dollars so i don't offer the three tips by themselves and i'll offer the we have the four inch blow guns too if you don't need the tips those are like 20 bucks so i, I don't know is there i don't know why you would not want to buy this Everybody does, which is what yeah, everyone does. So we have it. Uh, looks like a restock and a lot of oil filter wrench. And this is the Gear Wrench Master Screwdriver Set. It's got studies, micro drive ones, and your regular full selection of Phillips and slotted screwdrivers. These are nice because they've got the hex bolster on the shank. So you can connect a wrench to it if you need extra torque. Lifetime warranty on them. And like a lot of other tools right now in the product line, and I'm trying to be snazzy there and prop it up for you so you can get a cool look. Like a lot of other tools in their product line right now, this is also on sale. Normally they were $140, but right now they got them for $101. So people are buying the buying those too. So, you know, it's it's nice when we see that commitment from our suppliers to just making better deals for people. And Gear Ranch has done that. We love it. It's not a it's not a coincidence that one of the reasons why we have so many tools in this haul is because of the better pricing. And you can see a lot of this stuff is stuff that's currently on sale. So people are ordering it or we're getting extras in knowing we're going to run promotions on it. And we just want to have a steady stream of the stuff available to people. And so far, eh, it's been working pretty well. Oops, I'm, I'm making a mess. This is the 10 piece torque lock locking plier set from Milwaukee. These are almost exactly like the vice grip ones from Irwin. These are on sale right now. Um, so we're, we're selling these. I, I tend to like these a little bit better than Irwin. They're a little heavier duty. We don't see the breakage on these like we can see on, on the springs and stuff in the Irwin ones because these are these use heavier springs and some heavier components to them. I will say this. Milwaukee has this process for taking care of their hand tools under warranty. You take a picture, send it to them, they send you a new tool. Theoretically. In practice, we have not seen it work that well, I'll be honest. And although... The division that handles their cordless tools is outstanding. They are absolutely the best in the business at handling warranty claims for power tools. Not so much in hand tools. And the reason why is because we have to go through Milwaukee for these. We can't go through our distributors because Milwaukee does not allow their distributors to handle the warranty claim process for them. I wish that they did because then we could have sent a broken one in. Um, and we could we just replace it on the truck rather with a new one and then send the broken one and get credit for it. But we can't do that with Milwaukee's hand tools. I wish we could. Uh, it, would, it would make everything way easier and ultimately better for the customer. But right now, we're that's where we are with them. So um, 
when we sell these, we just let people know. We'll, we'll take care of the warranties, obviously, like we will with anything else, but it might be a little bit longer to take care of it. There might be a little bit of red tape, which there shouldn't be, but if that's the way it is, unfortunately, we have to live with that. So, uh, again, if somebody specifically wants these, we will get them, um, but normally the urban ones are way easier to handle, so we keep the, uh, the Vice Grip branded ones on the trucks. There's another one of those Torx and Hex socket sets from GearWrench. Looks like we got some some uh, special order and warranty wrenches. These are the jumbo size gearbox wrenches. There's a 20, no, these are two 24 millimeter wrenches. These are the ones that have the ratcheting flex head box end and just a regular fixed box end. That we're just talking about these are not part of the set although i think there is a set of three or four jumbo ones you can buy separately the regular set is the is the 8 to 19 that i mentioned earlier not yeah, more of a more of the mayhew o-ring picks gear wrench has a set of pinch off pliers which are pretty good these are the friction catch type we also carry the OTC ratcheting ones, which tend to hold better, they're a little pricier, but we have really good luck with those. But between gear wrench and OTC, we got the pinch off pliers covered. This is a shaker siphon, which is maybe this the, the coolest little device of its kind on the market. The one end here has a just a copper fitting with a ball in it, and uh, what you do is you just drop the ball in the source. And you drop the uh, open end of the hose in your open container. You shake the ball, and it starts the siphon going. Because science. Gear wrench also has uh, one of the lower cost uh, so sensor socket kits on the market, and these are the standard ones that you'll find on any tool truck, really. Uh, different brands, but Gear wrench has has one of the lower lower priced ones. We got some nail brushes. Got to restock those. Looks like we got a uh, a replacement die. Came in under warranty. These are the really long dual foot chucks from Amflow. Uh, the guys that work on the big trucks like them, obviously. That's a regular regular item for us. Lyle makes this airline disconnect set that is not the most popular set, but it's not expensive and it does the trick. This beats paying a ton of money for those specialty pliers that cost an arm and a leg. Looks like this is a special order for somebody. More form of funnels. That's the smaller general purpose one. Bag of elastic bands because we need those on the trucks to affix work order tickets to stuff. And then we have some replacement sockets and adapters from Sunex and Gear Wrench. And an adjustable wrench from Channel Lock. I love Channel Lock stuff. Uh, as far as I know, it's all made in the USA, unless I'm lying to you. Maybe it's not all made in the US. But uh, some of the products are anyway. And this is a nice wide jaw, short handle set. And that's a special order that's coming at someone's request. We are stocking my truck still. So we've got a long way to go to get it up to 100%. So this is all the variety of ratchet repair kits we need to handle the gear wrench ones. We sell socks and these uh, weatherproof branded ones are really good. They have a lycra fiber blend they stay they stay cushy for a real long time they don't get all um, nasty and flat and pilly I, i've been wearing these personally for years and then we finally got a line on them like oh we're putting them on the trucks because the other socks we carry just i mean they'd be okay for a few months maybe but when when you wear socks every day standing and moving and kneeling and walking and you need a good pair of socks that we're going to last and you're not going to spend an arm and a leg for then we can sell this four pack 
of, of real high quality socks. So I'm glad we moved into these because they're, they've been a very good seller for us. Uh, more nail brushes. Looks like a warranty light came back from Milwaukee. We were doing an upgrade on on this code reader from Launch. Launch has really good code readers. They're they're one of our favorites, and they're not the easiest things in the world to upgrade if you don't know much about how to use a computer to do such a thing. So we'll, as a service we provide, we'll sell people, give us your code reader and we'll update it for you. So uh, so we do that and we're doing that for our customer. Uh, more step drill bit sets from Astro. This is a, um, this is a diesel compression adapter for a Ford 6.7 liter. Two guys that work in a diesel shop specifically asked me for these. The Streamlight Bandit Pro headlamp is really popular because it's so low profile and it's built really well. And the pricing on these is not too expensive at all. So these are popular items. They're a regular inventory item for us. Elastic bands. Another compression tester adapter. Gear Wrench has a really nice extension set that we, we carry all their extensions, sockets, ratchets, wrenches, and, and stuff because the pricing is really so good on these that uh, it's, it's very difficult to find a better deal when we're, when we're shopping these around. So that's, that's just our regular go-to. All right, K-Tool has some interesting new things, and I'm probably going to do a review video just on these, but until then, I'll at least show you what they are. They, they came out with a line of extractors for damaged Torx and hex screws. So there's different size sets for different applications. This is a seven piece set that uh, removes damaged Torx fasteners. And this is the seven piece set for the damaged hex. And there's also this larger set that handles uh, shank screw adapters for um, hex and another one for Torx. So larger kit, smaller kit. I'm glad to see that uh, someone's coming out with something that can uh, that can do a little bit more than, than your regular extractors can. And these are nice because the way they fit in the head, the way the, the teeth are shaped on them, they grab way better than a regular extractor would. I think I'm going to break that out into a different video because they're, they're they're unique and they need to be focused on, I think, and we'll show you how, they, how they're how they used and um, and what they look like up close. But this is a tool haul video, not a review video, so we're going to leave that as out of scope for this particular video and save that for another day. All right. Looks like this is the last. I think this is the. I, th I think this is the last box. Thanks for hanging in there with me. This is another one of the Mayhew punch and chisel sets with the um, with the bearing race punch set. It, this is just a box set it ships in. Redback has been our our boot brand from day one, and their their slip on boots are the de facto standard in the industry. It seems like almost every tech in the world buys and owns these boots. They are very comfortable. If you've never worn a slip-on boot before, do not be afraid of these slipping off your foot or feeling too loose. They hold very nicely with these elastic panels here. I wear them myself. I've been wearing them for years and I've never had a bad day with my feet and these, I don't, I don't have the best feet in the world, so they're kind of particular about what I put on them. The only thing I will say about these boots is the 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 insole they come with. I'll show you here. Hold on. Looks like the <laughs> the insole they come with is not very substantial. It's kind of thin. It doesn't provide much support. I would recommend if you buy these boots 
toss the insole and buy a nice insole from some third party like a Dr. Trolls or something where you can get something that uh, is, is built a little bit better for your foot. I, that's what I do with mine. And the insoles, A, they last longer because these are really thin and they wear out in no time. And I'm not even a fan, I'm going to be honest, of Redback's replacement insoles. They're, they've got um, a rubber bottom and a leather top, but they're just not that cushy. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not that cushy. They're not very comfortable. Um, so I love the boots. Don't love the insoles. So for a cheap pair of insoles, uh, they're worth the price of the boot. Oh, so some lights for the truck. I, I buy these dimmable under cabinet LED lights um, to, to light up my work area in the truck. But these are also great for the hutches in your toolboxes. I have bought these in the past for people. They're very easy to install. They're dimmable and they throw a real bright white light. So they're terrific for lighting up a work area. And they're so inexpensive. Um, it, it beats, I think they're even less expensive than the lighting kits that Harbor Freight sells for their new Icon toolbox line. I know you can spend over $400 on snap-on lights for the hutches. You can spend over $100 on, on lights at Harbor Freight for their hutches. Or you can spend like you know, 60 bucks, I think, on Amazon for these. Buy those. They're way less money. And the lights are just as good. Oh, this is really heavy. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is a U-joint puller. Tiger Tool makes a version of this. This is the Calvan version. I never had an issue with Calvan stuff. They've been around a long time and they're way less money than the Tiger Tool version. If I'm not mistaken, I think Tiger Tool wants $400 for this thing, but the Calvan one is just under 200 bucks. Um, it's, it's a lot of metal. It's a big tool. It's heavy. Um, not a whole lot of guys buy them, but the guys who see the value in them, that's the one that they go to. Lyle has a magnetic glove box holder. Just stick that on your cart or your box and, uh, and shove your glove box in there. Irwin is our go-to for drill bits, although they don't put a warranty on every size. Like Matco, they put a warranty on all their bits that are larger than one quarter inch. They have a terrific selection of bits that the other companies don't have. They've got two grades of cobalt bits. They've got some really good bimetal bits. They've got um, some bits that if you just don't want to spend insane amounts of money on the really good cobalt bits, if you're not going to be drilling harder material that requires those bits, they've got some really good options. And because they put a, a, a pretty decent warranty on them, these are the ones that, that we offer. We have access to lots of different brands of bits, but honestly, I don't know if they're any better than the Irwin ones. People say a lot of nice things about the tips on these bits. They don't walk as much. They're easier to control. They stay sharp. And as long as you're using the bit properly for the material it's intended to be used on, you won't have problems with these. They also have this set of wrenches and pliers. They have an eight-piece set, they got a five-piece set. This is the set that has pliers that are very similar to the Nipex Cobra pliers. And adjustable wrenches, lineman's pliers, needle nose, slip joint pliers, and side cutters as well. And I think there's another set that's on sale right now. And just a Milwaukee M12 battery. It looks like that's a, a restock. Putting it back on the shelf. And uh, oh, some of these E-Track rings that we need for the trucks. Is that everything? I think that's everything. If you made it this far in the video, I really do thank you. I know this is kind of a long one. And I hope that there was some different and, and interesting things in here for you. I thought it was good to show you the associated chargers. It's cool to go over the red back boots a little bit because I don't think we've ever touched on those before. The Milwaukee hood light was nice to touch on because that's another one that I don't see every day. And those K-Tool hex and Torx extractors, I think, are particularly interesting. So there's going to be some additional videos coming up with reviews and spotlights on some of the stuff you saw here today. We'll do a deep dive into some of those tools. 
And also, we're gonna keep going with the tools in the hall segments because they seem pretty popular and I've gotten some very good feedback on them. So thank you for continuing to give me your comments on that and for your viewership. And we also have um, uh, toolbox reviews coming up and some other videos that I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss. So do me a favor, click down here to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one. <laughs>